Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, YouTube family. You know what we do, how we do it, so without further ado, let's get to it. Ace is the group for the day, Cactus is the song. Fun fact. This is their debut. Oh, okay. Have I done an Ace reaction before? We did, I think, Favorite Boys, uh, one of the earlier videos. Okay. I'm trying to think the sound sounds familiar. We did it before, but remember, uh, we had some technical difficulties. It could have used any of the footage. <laughs> oh, yeah, listen. Hey. It's where computers hate. Stuff happens time. sometimes. <laughs> you feel it's it? times. All right. Well, let's get into it. Sound. Like that piano model. Like, you know what I see, like, this is a song that we're looking for. I can always see this one now. Boy, I feel tight. So right off the bat, I like the choreography, I like the music, and I like their voices. And the choreography is different because it started off like, I don't know if you've ever remembered the show. It was called So You Think You Can Dance. Mm -hmm. And it had all these <laughs> genres of, of, of styles of dance that the, the contestants who were on the show had to do. It would be like, well, it would be Bollywood, and then you had ballroom, and then you had... You know, contemporary. And so, looking at this, they kind of started out with the contemporary, with like the kind of move and that kind of stuff. You know, I like that. Queer be very dramatic. They keep one in the background is going there. It's a nice compliment to their voices. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I think earlier in another reaction video I stated, I was talking about the importance of knowing the balance of music. And if you notice uh, a few seconds ago when I was talking about how the keyboardist was doing this thing, the keyboardist melody or counter melody was behind the vocals. So he played underneath the vocals. Now when the vocals stop, then you hear all the synthesized parts. And the now you don't need all that in the forefront while the group members are singing. So it's nice to see that they know when to bring that out and when to pull back on it. I think this is one of this is one of, if not the only K-pop group that has or K-pop song that uses hard style like EDM. Like, I can't even think about, like, others that even, like, lightly use it. Maybe, like, A.T.'s a little bit in, like, the end of this song. Mm -hmm. But, like, I think it's, a, like, the only song, like, I've heard. Well, not the only song. The only group, because they have a calling that also does, like, hard style. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's interesting to see, especially in 2017, that type of, like, um, EDM used. You don't tend to hear that song, type of music, like. Even in that time, it wasn't a calling at all. Yeah. Even in, like, pop music, like. Uh -huh. The pop music will use like EDM, but like I, I never use, heard like hard uh, style. Yeah, I use like or tropical house or like the maybe like maybe future based more recent times. Yeah. And it, and then they use it and they use it well because mm -hmm. sometimes songs <laughs> try to imp, try to implement house and EDM and it just ah oh, just goes horribly wrong. It's like singing the Skrillex. Yeah, <laughs> basically, yeah, and it's like you know that's you, you got to know how to use that. That's not something you can just throw in the everyday song because it's just got a little up tempo or a little house bass to it. <laughs> 
The other thing I like is they have a, a lot of synthesizer in here, but there's a live piano. And the live piano is playing these kind of same two or three chords. And it just works so well. You got to listen for it. You're, you're like, oh, wait a minute. There's a, there's a live piano playing in this. And you have all the little crazy synthesized stuff going on. So, man, it's, you know, musically, there's a lot going on. You bring all the background stuff forward. Boy, I was crazy. People overuse this word, but I honestly feel like Ace is truly like an underrated group. Mm -hmm. They are, they really are. Um, yeah, man, just like okay, so <laughs> this always happens. I get to a group, like <laughs> I watch 80s, and I'm like, man, 18 and 80s, you know, they still bring the fire, but then you see a group like Ace, and you're like, ooh, mm -hmm. man, so the choreography <laughs> was all man, you know. And they, they, they knocked this one out the park. They had the EDM, and they used it so effortlessly. It worked perfect with their motif. Like I said earlier, everybody can't pull off, you know, house music. Everybody can't throw in those elements of, of EDM and get it to work and be able to put out a product that <clears throat> the general public will be able to not only relate to, but understand and like and want to follow it and put on their rotation. So, man, Ace, okay, listen, um, how old is this song? This came out of 2017. Man. Yeah, I remember the first song, ago, did I remember how many Yeah, this is one of the songs we listen, one of the first songs we listened to when we got into K-pop, so it has like a special place in our hearts. Man, I'm telling you, now this, hey, if you're going to listen to K-pop for the first time, this song will get you hooked. And this is one of those songs that every time you listen to it, you're going to peep out something different every time, like, oh. You know, I didn't notice that live piano. Oh, I didn't notice that that crazy keyboard riff going on in the background. Oh, the synthesizer was doing this. Oh, there's some vocal something that the guys in the background are doing. Didn't catch that the first 23 times I listened to the song. But man, this song is everywhere. And then once again, the choreography. And the thing that made the choreography so good in this is that it started out kind of like a dramatic. And then they kind of infuse elements of hip hop with dramatic, with some contemporary. So it's kind of like you had like three or four different genres of dance coming together and just, but you know, what can I say? They knocked it out the park. They knocked it out choreographically speaking. They knocked it out musically speaking. Um, they knocked it out vocally speaking. So, hey, that's, that's the trifecta, you know, dance, dance music and sing. Hey, you got a good product. Uh, anything else about this group? So, um, if I'm correct, there is like, um, at least at the time of recording this, there is a um, competition show that's supposed to be airing soon. It's supposed to be like highlighting a lot of like vocalists from like underrated boy groups. And I forgot which member, but one of the members I think is going to be participating. Dong -hoon? Yeah, I think it's Dong Hoon is on there. I think so. I think, yeah, it's him because I remember seeing him in a thumbnail. So yeah, if any choices want to like go support him, okay, bring more fame to this underrated group. 
Now he's not leaving the group or anything. No, now. it's just uh, okay. participating in it. It'll All bring right. more fame to the group. All right. Because, you know, we listen. I don't want to come in more groups. They're still together. They still you have know. all their original members. Actually, okay, all right. They're approaching, like, the seven years, aren't they? Like, 2017. It's 2024. Yeah, but just about. Yeah, it's Ooh, all right. They'll be better in the, in the game. If they did, they would have broken a seven-year curse. And their younger, youngest member, I think, is currently still, still listening. Serving, right? They should be yeah. coming back soon, right? Yeah. This year, I think. Mm-hmm. All yeah, right. The other four just came back. Ace... You did your thing, man. I'm a fan. I, I'm definitely looking for it. They have any, um, any, you know, under rumblings of them coming out with a new album or anything? Are this? I think there's still like a new album that's supposed to be releasing. I know they had like a pre-release song mm-hmm. back in November. November, around like November, maybe December. I think it's November. Yeah, I think it's November. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all I kind right. of feel like the same month. Really. Mm-hmm. I have the feeling that Ace is gonna be one of those groups that they're gonna have that one song. And not that any songs so far in their discography are just like bad, but I just feel they're underrated. And they're going to be that group that's going to have that one song, and everybody's going to be like, oh man, Ace got the song that's blowing up the charts, man. This is new group. No, nah, they're not a new group. They've been they around for X mm-hmm. number of years, just like, really? You know, why are we just noticing them? I don't know why, because then if people are going to go back and start revisiting their old content. If it can happen to Brave Girls, it mm. can happen to Ace. Yeah. Brave Girls was like, oh Days God, from like years into their career. Yeah, they from the spammer. And then like a random viral performance like blew them up. So like, it gives me faith for like smaller groups that like, and, and what hopefully, I mean, even BTS took like a couple of years before they got big. So yeah. it's like, you know, it's never too late until it's been, obviously. But it's, it's still, I still have hope. If the group is still together, there's still a chance. Yeah, so listen, hey, like, like never give up. Um, never to give up. <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke, YouTube family. All right, YouTube family. Ace was the group. Uh, Cactus was the song. I enjoyed it. Hope you all did, too. Appreciate you coming along with me on this journey. Once again, like and subscribe. And as always, comment, comment, comment. Magic Second is the channel. Your host has been K-Pop Pops. I'm out.